Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I have another unboxing for you guys. And back to school has crept on us very quickly. So I decided what better way to kick off back to school than by ordering some Wish back to school supplies. <laughs> a huge back to school giveaway going on right now this is the last week to enter so go read the description to go see how to enter that let's unbox some really cheap wish supplies I ordered a lot so I'm gonna have all the prices pop up right here so if you guys are interested in buying any of them oh shoot I just cut the first one oh my gosh I literally just sliced it oh. this was the first thing and I literally just cut it oh my gosh What's wrong with me? So this was the first one pretty much it's a pencil holder for your pencils or pen And I mean I didn't mess it up too bad, but I kind of cut off the corner this Strawberry milk that's supposed to hold your school supplies and your pencils and stuff I actually think this is really cute considering that it was free Free with tax and shipping, but honestly though, this is really cute so I'm gonna have to give this one a 10 out of 10 I think this is gonna be perfect to hold pencils and pens and especially since it was so affordable All you have to do is like put pens and pencils in there and then zip it up and it keeps it all in this little cute pouch Really good job wish. I really like this. Okay, so the next thing is these really really cute pens now I've talked about this before but going into college I might get made fun of for using these but at the same time look how freaking cute they are like these are so cute. They're like little lollipops, but they're pens, so it's extra cool because they're lollipops. Ah! Oh, hey! Oh, are you supposed to keep it on there? The wrapper? I don't know. Because it makes sense if you keep the wrapper on there, but there's like these stickers on them. Pretty much you're supposed to keep the wrapper on there to make it look like a little candy, which makes sense. You're supposed to keep the wrapper on there, but they like put like a sticker on there, so I don't know how the heck I'm supposed to like think that this is cute if there's like a big sticker on it. Why would they put the sticker on there if this plastic is supposed to stay on? That sucks. Like you're literally like trying to take off this sticker and it's... I don't like the way they did this at all. I mean, I guess it makes sense since they were $3, but like, come on. Like, if you guys see the picture, you're supposed to keep this little plastic on there, but there's these little stickers on them that are making them look really ugly. Not a fan of these at all. So I got off one of the stickers, but there's still like glue on it and stuff. So technically, this would be a really, really cute pen if it didn't have those stupid stickers on it. Other than that, I would really like this pen. This is so cute. I don't even think it works. It does work. This is such a cute pen. Oh, I really like it. It was three dollars for these two, but because they put the sticker on there, it doesn't doesn't do it justice. I'm gonna give these a five out of ten. Such a cute idea, but presentation really messed it up. This next thing, I swear, I don't even remember ordering this, but it's a pop it. Oh, it's a pop it phone case. Okay, I remember ordering this now. I thought this would be kind of fun for back to school because like. If you get bored in class, I mean, why not, right? Like a little fidget toy. <gasps> Wait, this kind of sucks. It's cute, but then like, you see how these like you can pop, but these like you can't really pop. They just go back up. That sucks. I guess maybe it's supposed to be like you hold it on your phone and then you just take it off if you want to play with it. I don't know. It doesn't work. It doesn't work very good. This is such a bummer. I always thought that these were so cool, the little pop-it phone cases, but it doesn't even work. Like when you press it, it doesn't like stay down like these. I don't know if I'm just going off on a tangent here, if you guys understand what I'm saying, but I'm not like this. Do not buy this phone case. I'm gonna give it a three out of 10. I mean, it's still cute, but like kind of defeats the whole purpose. That wasn't even a real school supply, but I thought it would be fun. Next one is a notebook from Wish. Ooh, okay. So this little binder was $7, so it wasn't that cheap. So it better be good. This binder was like $7 and it was supposed to come with like some paper in it and it didn't even come with any. It's just like a little plastic book and I don't know where the heck I'm supposed to find papers that are gonna fit in this tiny little baby binder. Like where am I supposed to find paper for this? It came with these little like tabs though so I don't know if you're supposed to just keep your notes in there but at the same time like I don't think I have any notes that are this small. Okay so I put these little tabs on the little binder and I guess you just kind of keep like if you have any little uh, sticky notes you kind of are supposed to like put them in here and then you have like a little mini binder. Which is cute or whatever, but for $7, not worth it in my opinion. I'm gonna give it a 3 out of 10. Not my favorite back to school item so far, but I mean, if you like it, you know where to find it. What the heck did I order? Oh my god! Okay, I'm so excited. Okay, so the next thing are little um, paper clips. 
That's satisfying. These are tiny baby paper clips. Check this out. These are so stinking cute. Oh my gosh. They are little avocado paper clips. And I thought these are so cute. You can get them like with different charms and stuff. But if you put them on your book or something, you just like in it with a little paper clip and it comes out like a little charm. I don't know if I'm like too old for this or not, but this is really freaking cute. These little paper clips were like five bucks. But would I spend these five dollars again? Yes. They're like really good quality too. It's like a metal, not just like a plastic. And I think if you had like journals or something that you were trying to like put together or like pieces of paper, this is the cutest paper clip I've ever seen. 10 out of 10, would recommend. And it comes with like five of them. Yes, would buy again. Take my money. Take my money. Okay, this next one is supposedly a notepad shell. So this one's also a binder, but a bigger binder. Very anticlimactic. What did I order? This one's actually really, really cute. It's like this pink color, and I think it's super cute. It like matches our little like notebook thing. So cute. I'm gonna give this one an eight out of 10. It's actually pretty good quality for Wish. I would recommend. It's super cute if you need a binder for school. Might come in a month but they got you covered. Okay, these next ones are sticky notes. Not just any normal sticky notes. These are... Wait, are they just normal sticky notes? What? What a bummer. So these were actually free. So I guess I got them for free, so I can't complain. But this is what I ordered. I tried to order like some marble, like little uh, sticky notes. But then they actually gave me the one on the top, which is just like this concrete looking like pattern, which I'm actually not really happy about. It just kind of looks like a gray notepad with like dirt on it. Like it doesn't look, I really wanted the marble one, but I guess, I mean, you get what you get and you don't throw a fit, but this is just a gray notepad. Oh, this pen actually works really good. So in case you need to write some valuable notes down in school bada bing bada boom i got you covered i think these would have been a lot cuter if i got the marble ones instead of this like concrete looking thing but i can't complain because i got it for free it instantly gets a 10 out of 10 if it's free just saying it's not like i paid four dollars for shipping or anything <laughs> i don't want to talk about it oh this is so cute okay these are really really cute these are the little like milk correctors so you like can write over if you have like a white paper you can just like it's like white out i don't know if you guys know what white out is but these little white outs were like three dollars so they weren't too bad mr the weenie is just back there vibing. So pretty much if you have a white piece of paper, this is not gonna work on this, but you pretty much just, Whiteout has always confused me. It never works that well. I don't know if it's just me, but. So I don't know if you guys can see this, but if you had a white piece of paper and you wanted to like X this out, you just put it over like that. Just to like kind of cover the mistake a little bit since you can't erase pen. And yeah, that's what this is. It is super duper cute. It's very satisfying too. And they are so cute. I think the container is just what sells it for me. $3 for two of them. And I definitely recommend. These are really cute and they actually work. So I really like these. If you guys are pen users, I would recommend. Okay, the next thing is a what I don't know what this is. I don't know. I'm gonna be honest. I don't know what this is. Oh more pens <gasps> I am so genuinely happy that I got these I forgot I ordered them. They have little avocados on them Well, they're not little they're big, but they are so cute. This is so cute. Oh my goodness So these are what the pens look like you can't really tell that much But there's it's like a giant avocado at the bottom and they're like this pretty green color and they are little pens They actually work pretty well too. like look how good that works Okay, now it's time for the moment of truth to see how much I actually spent on these little cute pens These were three dollars, which is justifiable. I can definitely say that I spent three dollars on these pens and I don't regret it I really really like these so so cute and they work really well So I have no complaints 10 out of 10 would recommend this is a little highlighter. Oh, this is so cute I feel like you can't find stuff like this on Amazon only on wish. Oh, it's not a highlighter I don't know if you guys can see it, but it's like a little cat paw, but also a correction tape So like the other ones that I had this is what it looks like when it's closed It's like a little cap and then if you have a little mistake on your paper this was also super duper cute. I love the packaging of them. I think that's what makes them like even better than like normal like tape free as well on Wish. We love that for us, a little free kitty paw. So cute, 10 out of 10, love it. And the next one is a notepad, but it's a bigger notepad. So hopefully this is good. I think this is the one I'm most excited for. I don't even know why. Wait, what? What even is this? What even is this? Oh! 
cute. Oh my gosh. Okay, I was afraid that this wasn't gonna come in, but it did. Okay, so this is like an adorable. Sadly, it came like bent. I don't know if you guys can see that, but it's like folded. But pretty much it's like a notepad that you keep on your desk. And these bottom ones at the bottom are little sticky pads so you can write on them. And I just thought that this pattern was so cute. Like I've never seen a notepad that looks like this before. Sadly, it did come like all creased and stuff. So that kind of makes it not as cute. We can do like a little to-do list. So pretty much you can have like three different notes going on on this little notepad. And I just think it is so pretty because I love the clouds and the colors of it. Just I am not, I can't get with how like it's bent. Like that kind of really annoys me. Let's go ahead and see how much I paid for this though because it doesn't really come with too many notepads either. This is only $1.75. So I guess we'll let the little like creasy like cardboard like pass. But I still think this is so cute for your desk to take notes on and everything. These sticky notes are like stuck. Look. So cute, I love it. It did come in really damaged, so I'm gonna have to give this one a solid like five out of 10. I really, really like the design still, but I just think it did not come in the best condition. So that's why I'm giving it such a low score, but I actually love the designs on it. Okay guys, I'm missing a few things that did not come in, but that's going to be this back to school wish haul. Hopefully you guys enjoyed it. Let me know in the comments down below what was your favorite item that I bought from Wish for back to school. Also, do not forget to go enter my huge giveaway for back to school going on. All you have to do to enter that is like this video, subscribe to my channel, and comment down below why you need back to school supplies. Thank you guys so much for watching this video, and I'll see you guys next. Sarah, Grace. <coughs> Sarah, Grace, Saturday.